Hello folks, we're about to go harvest some squash in the garden. This is surprise squash. We did not think we planted squash. We bought two cucumbers at Home Depot, a bush cucumber and a vine cucumber. And this big bad boy popped out and I thought, oh man, that must be the bush cucumber. And it had these giant blooms. I was like, man, that's gonna be a big fat cucumber. And then it came out and I was like, why is that cucumber yellow? Well, it's not a cucumber, it's a squash. So let's harvest this guy. Boom. Look at the size of that. That's a giant squash. And do we want to take this guy too? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Sorry, you guys can see it. We'll get this guy too so it can put its energy into the next fruits. We got those guys coming in. And there you go. These are our yellow cucumbers. Delicious about to go on the grill. And you can see here there's the uh, cucumber plants along with some loofah sponge vines. And the squash plant popped right out of the middle. And we put it in the garden. Boom. And our first cucumber. How about that? I think that's just about perfect that I'm going to leave him on there for tomorrow so we eat him when he's fresh because we are not going to eat cucumber right now. So there they are, squash harvest, about to go on the grill. Okay, folks, we just had a terrible discovery. After this weekend eating our delicious volunteer yellow cucumbers, aka squash, uh, I went to check on it to see how the other little babies were doing, and they were all starting to rot off. So I think we figured out what was going on, but I just want to show this to you guys. Maybe you know, or you've seen this before. Um, I'm hoping I didn't do it when I pulled off the big squash. Uh, but like I showed you before, if you didn't see the last video, we bought two cucumbers and this guy popped out. I thought it was our bush cucumber. We bought a bush and a vine. And as the blooms came, they were just giant. I was thinking, man, that's gonna be a giant cucumber. Um, and turned out it was a squash. Very funny yellow cucumber, huh? So down here, if you see, let me find, I just stepped on it, sorry guys, but one of the babies has fully rotted all the way off. Another bud has fully rotted here. A lot of rot going on. So I think in inspecting the plant, as we do, and look, there's more babies, and see, here's this black monk, that black fold, black mold fungus, see that right there? That's what seems to be taking its victims. See that? So I'm just gonna pop this guy off. And I am not sure what that black mold... I, w I think it's just too humid could be the problem. We also noticed... See this gash right here? I was wondering... If maybe when I was harvesting the uh, the squash that I ripped it right there, I hope I didn't, but uh, Dano the Mano, the man with the plan, came out and super glued it with crazy glue to try and seal that wound so nothing else gets in. 
we were super excited to have some more squash because they were so delicious on the grill. The best squash we've ever eaten in our whole lives. We both said the same thing as soon as we did it. So we shall see. I will do an update and show you guys if the old squash surgery is a success. Wish us luck. Alright folks, we are about to go try and address the powdery mildew black mold at the squash plants. I saw a very disturbing thing yesterday when I checked on them and wasn't sure what was going on. I thought maybe they had a cut, so we sealed the cut with some super glue. Hopefully that wasn't too hard on the plant. It doesn't look very good. It's still pretty open. I think I'm going to try and fill it in some more, although this guy might be about ready to go. I did do some research and it said... said powdery mildew uh, is often caused by too much moisture, makes sense, and to defoliate your squash and zucchini to get better harvest. So let's start doing that. And we've got these guys coming way up here. I'm going to go ahead and take him off. And you're just kind of not Not doing very much. Anything that's crisscrossed, I'm going to say these. See how those are kind of up on top of each other? At least one of you needs to go get y'all some more airflow. I will probably do... Let's see. I will probably do a couple of these. If you see, these are new growth. So you want to get some of the older growth back here, like these. Further back. Go ahead and take that. Oh, look at that. Giant, giant squash flower. And that's what they said. I hand pollinated them a bit. What they said when I researched the powdery mildew is that it comes most often from lack of pollination. So you want to clear some space for your pollinators to find um, the flowers, essentially. I kind of want to take this guy off, probably. And he's kind of older, so. There, now you can see the flowers. The bees should be able to see the flowers. There's a lot more airflow. Anything else that I think we should take? Probably something over here. It's a little crowded. There's a little crossing of the leaves there. So I'm gonna go ahead. Hmm. Boom. Why not? All right, so hopefully those set fruit and they don't rot off like the other guys have been doing, like this sadness. Boo. Could have been delicious. Could have been a contender. Go ahead and pull this dirty dirty leaf there.
Hello, everybody. We are about to go trim up the cucumber vines. I already massacred the zucchini, or it was a squash, it was a yellow squash. Volunteer squash gave us the best squash I've ever eaten in my whole life. Also, we cooked it better than I've probably cooked any other ones. But either way, it was delicious. And then I'll put a link up here. Oh, that's a squirrel. Did y'all hear that? Uh, I'll put a link here. Um, oh, no, it's two little finches fighting in the back there. Yeah. <clears throat> here you go. Falcon. You can see it right there. See that? That right there. That injury just started rotting away. And that is right kind of where it sat over over the edge there. It kind of grew out and stressed right there. And I think when I plucked the squash that we harvested, I might have stretched it and broke it. Um, or it just strained itself with the weight of itself. But either way, it had a mortal injury and we will just mow him into the yard. No big deal. We can always grow more. 